Hello, and thank you for your interest in Xilinx Embedded Design Solutions. I'll be spending a bit of time today talking about a product called Microblaze Microcontroller System. And what exactly is it? Well, it's a quick and easy way to add a microcontroller to any FPGA-based logic project. It's a leaner, trimmed-down version of our popular Microblaze microprocessor without the need for Embedded Design Kit or EDK, Embedded Edition, or Xilinx Platform Studio. It gives you the same Microblaze processor, the same performance, the same device support, but now there's no longer a need to obtain an embedded design license. There's no need to learn an additional tool like XPS. It includes a very general set of processing peripherals, which we'll look at, and it's supported by the software design kit from Xilinx or other Eclipse-based software design tools like GNU GCC. And it's available starting with the 13.4 release of both the ISC Logic Edition and it, the free ISC Webpack Edition. In, in short, it's an ideal solution for microcontroller-based design. So how would I configure and use Microblaze MCS? Well, Microblaze MCS consists of three major components. The first is the Microblaze processor. It is pre-configured for three-stage pipeline mode, and the options are pre-configured as well. A peripheral set we call the I.O. module, which we'll look at in a little more detail. And finally, an easy-to-use configuration wizard that wraps the two together and helps you place it in your design quick and easy. And then just three steps to use Microblaze microcontroller system as well. First, you place it in your project through the IP uh, catalog. You configure Microblaze MCS through the wizard, and you're ready to begin coding your software. So that's enough of the slide where let's look at a demo and watch it in action. I'm starting this project from Plan Ahead, which is our ISC logic-based um, program manager and design manager. If I was an FPGA logic designer, this is more than likely where I'd be starting from in a Xilinx project. I'm going to open up an example design. The smallest one of these is called BFT Core. And by the way, these uh, example designs, the one I'm using today, all come pre-installed with ISC installs. So you can come back and replicate what I'm doing here. And I'm also running from a Webpack license, which is our free downloadable license. So you can literally download this software, download the license, and be replicating what I'm doing right here in this demo. We're going to save it to my own directory just so I can muck around with it. We'll call it Project 2. And you'll see that uh, my BFT project is now opened up. In the Hierarchy Manager, I can now go look at the HDL. I can go open up any one of these, go edit it. Uh, you'll also see a couple of cores down below that were placed using our IP catalog and uh, called Core Generator. And we'll talk a little bit about that in just a second. Now, at this point, if I wanted to add a full-blown microblaze, um, I would normally do an add source and say add or create embedded design sources. And when I said next and finished, it would go open up another tool called XPS. And that tool lets you do things like um, set up interrupts, set up your register space, pick from a whole slew of peripherals. Uh, but remember what we're dealing with today is Microblaze MCS. All I need to do here is go open up the IP catalog. More, uh, a lot of the glue logic or simpler functions have already been created for me in this uh, IP catalog. And by double clicking, I can then go add things like a, an adder subtractor, a FIFO, uh, things that I really don't want to have to have my designer spend time on. But if I go open up this embedded processing uh, part of the catalog and then go select processor, there's Microblaze MCS. Let's go double click that. And you'll notice below in my details section, um, I get a description of the core. I get links to things like data sheets. I can also see what's changed in revision to revision. Uh, we basically give you the info you need to go um, analyze that core. So here's the configuration wizard we, do, we discussed earlier. Uh, you'll notice on the left the symbol. And on the right, all my configure, configuration parameters. Um, notice we have the UART. We have four, up to four fixed interval timers, up to four programmable interval timers, general purpose outputs, and general purpose inputs, and also a set of interrupts. And again, this is that basic I.O. module that we discussed. 
Um, for this design, let's go enable the UART. Let's go turn on one of the fixed interval timers. And let's go turn on one of the programmable interval timers and we'll change the bit width down to 16 bits. Um, so you can see, highly configurable, very easy to use. I'll turn on one of the GPOs for output. And again, change the bit width to 24 bits. So you can see I'm doing this all through the wizard. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll also see that my symbol is changing as I'm adding uh, different options or taking away different options. And we'll just stop at this point and say generate. And now the configuration wizard drops that core into my design. And there it is. So let's go over to IP sources. Let's go expand this and let's go add an, an instantiation template. And say generate that. And then quickly I get what I need to go be able to copy this into my top level HDL so I can go place this correctly in the hierarchy. Uh, let me go double click that file and there's everything I need to go place Microblaze MCS. There's the different options the way we um, configured it. So now I can go cut and paste this, uh, put it where I want in the hierarchy. Basically I'm off and running, I'm ready to use it. Just as easy as we discussed to begin wrapping up, a uh, quick review of MicroBlaze microcontroller system uh, features. First is it's included free with ISC Webpack, and it comes included with the purchased ISC Logic Edition. Again, those are versions 13.4 or later. It does have the fixed peripheral set we saw, and the processor has been locked down to three-stage pipeline for leaner microcontroller configurations. Uh, the peripheral set, if you need to use memory, it does support local block RAM uh, using the FPGAs from 4 kilobytes up to 64K. If you need streaming ports, you'll want the full MicroBlaze, but both versions support MicroBlaze debug modules, so you can do debug. If you need Axie 4 streaming or you need Axie 4 bus connections, you'll need, again, full MicroBlaze. And both versions are supported by the Xilinx Software Development Kit, otherwise known as SDK, or other Eclipse-based uh, software tools like GNU GCC. The value to you, the customer, is that MicroBlaze MCS offers high programmable systems integration. Uh, this product works with any Xilinx FPGA, including our new Zinc 7000 series, um, as long as you have the design logic space available. And it is high performance. It's the same performance as our full MicroBlaze product, over 300 DMIPS performance in the leading Xilinx logic families. It helps you reduce bomb cost by bringing in, again, a very streamlined microcontroller um, with an included IO peripheral packet. So you don't have to go add more IP. And it does support total power reduction. It's an ideal footprint for low power applications and we didn't talk about it, but MicroBlaze supports a sleep mode instruction. So you can turn off MicroBlaze and MicroBlaze MCS and attach logic. And finally, accelerated design productivity. Uh, very high flexibility. It lets you support a wide range of applications. And we didn't really talk about it in detail, but MicroBlaze MCS is included with our new Vivado design suite as well. So thank you for listening. If you'd like more information, please visit xilinx.com, uh, either of the two links I show here for MicroBlaze microcontroller system or full MicroBlaze. And you can download um, either our free Webpack edition or purchase the Logic edition, and again, support it in versions 13.4 or later. And if you try out the new Vivado design suite, you will find MicroBlaze MCS there as well. Thank you.